An interview with a woman who used to work for a company that bought fetal tissues from Planned Parenthood. The harder and the more valuable the tissue, the more money you get. I thought I was going to be just drawing blood, not procuring tissue from aborted fetuses. The new video also contains the testimonial of a woman who says she was hired by STEM Express to work inside a Planned Parenthood clinic procuring fetal body parts. They partner with Planned Parenthood and they get part of the money. They get paid from it. They do get some kind of benefit. Oh, well, you know, we didn't, we were just doing donations. We never made any profit off of it. Planned Parenthood and Cecile Richards on the, on the partnership with STEM Express. Well, you got to consider why are biotech companies like STEM Express hiring people? Where are they getting their money? Yeah, that's a good point. Because, you know, they're not going to just hire me if they're getting donated organs and tissues from Planned Parenthood. There has to be money coming in. There has to be profit coming in. She wasn't told before she arrived on site what she would be doing and fainted on her very first day. If you could impart one message to viewers who see, who have watched these videos, what's the one thing that you want them to walk away with? The videos are true and I wouldn't be putting myself out and, and speaking if they weren't true. This is my testimony. The people will decide. So I went, uh, she told me to meet at the Concord Clinic around like six or seven. If you're your first day at STEM Express, you're going to be drawing blood, come to the Planned Parenthood in Concord, California at like They didn't say I was going to be drawing the blood, they didn't tell me anything. Oh, they, they just said, they show, just said up. show up. First day of work, just, just be there. Just show up. Okay. So I pull in the parking lot, no one's there, and Clarissa pulls up and she takes out her, we have little STEM Express rolly bags mm -hmm. where you put the supplies. So she pulls mm -hmm. that out and... There's, you know, one nurse lets us in and everything seemed normal. It's just like a little medical center. There's the lab and then they have a little tiny path lab. I see out of the corner of my eye. And what's a path lab? By path the lab is that. where they... It's short uh, for pathology laboratory, pathology right? Lab, mm -hmm. uh, where they have, uh, they bring the POC, which is uh, the product of conception, product of conception after the abortion procedure is done. Right. The, what they do is they have the jars or they have the clear pie dishes where they have to make sure that uh, all limbs and the head are mm -hmm. within the POC to make sure that the woman doesn't get sick. Right. Because it can potentially really harm. If a body part was left it, inside it's the left. patient yes, after that the can abortion, make very they get sick. all of it out. So the doctor right. has to okay it. Clarissa mm -hmm. took me. She's like, call okay, come over here. Mm -hmm. And she. So she hasn't told you anything. She she's giving you no instructions not, yet of what's going to happen just, this day. I just followed her. And she took me into the path lab and she starts putting gloves on. And I'm a little bit shocked because I just see a pie dish with all this blood in it. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to stay calm because I don't know what was going on. Yeah. And I didn't want to act weird. It was my first day, and right. I didn't want to lose a new job, so I just tried to be really relaxed. And she t put the gloves on, and she took the the instrument, the tweezers, and she starts going and fishing around. Fishing around in the pie dish. In, in the some pie kind dish, of... and she's trying to show me parts. Mm -hmm. And I, I think I was in such a state of shock and trying to relax at the same time. I didn't. It didn't really feel real. Yeah. And she, she's showing me parts of, you know, this is a leg, this is an arm. And then she says, put some gloves on. So I put the gloves on. And she hands me the tweezers. She goes, oh, can, can you show me some of the parts that I just showed you? I said, yeah. And I put the tweezers in. And I put on one of the limbs. And I've never felt this in my life. I felt the pain radiate through my hand. You can feel the death go up through, you know, was something was just alive. And mm -hmm. I grabbed it and I felt that. I started to get woozy. And I said, this is a, and I stopped. And she's like, are you okay? And next thing I know, I woke up in the recovery room. Mm -hmm. I had blacked out or, and one of the nurses was there. And she's like, oh, you're awake now? Are you okay? I said, what happened? She said, you, you passed out when you saw the, the POC, the, the, the remains. I said, oh, I'm so embarrassed. She said, oh, don't worry. You know, it, honestly, some of us never get over it.